Please welcome to another live session of our show, Sugar Smart, on food care for diabetics. I am your host, Shabnam Sen Gupta, and I am thrilled to be here with you all today. Among many other severe impacts, uh, diabetes can cause neuropathy, poor blood circulation, foot ulcers, and fungal infections, and many other stuff. Stuff, uh, but these are the things that um, actively impact the foot health. So to deal with this or to prevent such issues, it, it is very important कि हम ये समझे कि कैसे अपने पैरों का ख्याल रखें. So to help us with this query, we have Dr. Ishita Sajdev with us today. Uh, with over a decade of experience in various fields of medicine and surgery, Dr. Ishita Sajdev is a diabetologist. We're delighted to welcome Dr. Ishita back for another engaging session with us. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. <laughs> my pleasure. My pleasure. So, uh, shall we begin? Yes, please. Great. Great. Um, how often? Should people with diabetes inspect their feet? At what signs or symptoms should they be looking for uh, during these checks? Literally every single day. You, everyone must should actually check their feet, especially if you are someone living with diabetes. You know why? Because particularly if you are someone living with long-standing diabetes, and if you somebody has neuropathy, sometimes even a small say there's a small stone in the house or you know there is some dust particles if you tend to walk barefoot which we eventually at some point of time do in the day so that can get lodged into your foot and to make sure that there's no injury because sometimes what happens is because if your sensations are reduced you don't know if you've got an injury so then it becomes like when it becomes infectious it starts giving pain which is quite an advanced of the infection then we come to know so all, always prevention is better than cure so check your foot every day and if there is something you go and report to your doctor or your podiatrist or anybody who takes care of your foot especially okay. for that matter and what you should so what was, oh, yeah is uh, any roughness of the skin any calluses you know, when you tend to walk barefoot, your pressure bearing points, which means where your whole body comes from, the body comes from those points, you will have small, small calluses, honge, which even oh. you will have even if you're not someone living with diabetes. But particularly, you have to take care if you have diabetes because that those calluses in a diabetic patient can become infectious yeah. later on. If let's uncheck. Okay. 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 Uh, so what while buying shoes and stuff what materials should diabetics particularly seek in their shoes like what uh, and what should they avoid uh, to promote health uh, foot health foot care so basically the best would be sports shoes okay okay particularly now for women you cannot wear salwar kameez ke upar sport shoes and go to work it's not aesthetically pleasing honestly even we as doctors we cannot wear sports shoes with every Indian outfit, you know. And think if you're going with that sporty look and all that. But most people, at least for women, it's very difficult. Men with your uh, normal short pants, you can wear your sports shoes, you can pull it off. So you are taken care of. When it comes to the women, uh, go for uh, brands like Hush Puppies or Clarks. They are really, really comfortable. Okay. I mean, uh, I remember when we were at Leelavati, we used to have like six, like 36 hour shifts. So we had mm -hmm. so no choice only. We were on our feet only for almost 30 hours out of that. So it used to take a toll. It's not that we have diabetes, but foot care should be there for everybody. So now what happens in a diabetic, the sensations become reduced and the, whatever happens, the complications become more painful. So along with uh, that, the only thing that actually worked in like such long hours, so this is my personal experience also, is that uh, it's great for the arch of the foot and it does not uh, allow the calluses to be formed very easily, which is extremely get, great for anyone living with diabetes. Okay. okay. So, yeah. so uh, you mentioned arch. So uh, what role does cushioning and arch support play in diabetic foot, uh, footwear? Extremely important because what happens is that 
there is an arch in the foot okay now if you have a flat foot which means your weight is not going to be proper the oh. weight distribution is not going to be proper now this is the normal arch if you have a high arch again you will tend to lose balance while walking and you'll not know whether it is because of the misplaced arch or is it because you're developing a neuropathy so it could be okay a diabetic neuropathy that because of which you're losing control or sensations or whatever and you could be losing balance because the arch is not correct so arch support is extremely important because eventually see if you, if your arch is not proper it's not supported well you can tend to have a fall if you are elderly then fall can lead to other major events which we want to avoid so very basic but so important so same i think uh, cushioning also has a similar sorry same uh, importance cushioning also has i think like uh, in the shoes so and what to avoid is uh, your shoes should not be very tight particularly very hmm. tight leather shoes that's a no 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 because sometimes the, the, the blister that develops because of those that we've seen in practice also uh, it's very hard to recover from okay then you go to the so uh, before we continue those further are, yeah, but uh, sorry ha uh ha -huh. no please continue आपका वॉइस ब्रेक हो रहा है एक्चुअली थोड़ा तो ओके तो ऑफ कोर्स द रिकवरी विल बी देयर बट इन टाइम इंटरवेंशन इज सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट वी कैन डू टू प्रिवेंट डैमेज ओके सो बिफोर वी कंटिन्यू फर्दर I would like to tell you all about our diabetes community on WhatsApp. If you're serious about diabetes management and eager to connect with like-minded people, uh, join our supportive community of individuals uh, like you. Simply drop a message in the chat saying "I'm in," and uh, we'll make sure that you get an invite. Or else, you can find the link uh, on our bio. So, uh, moving on. how often should diabetics replace their shoes to maintain proper health and what signs indicate ki ab bhai ne joote lene ka samay aa chuka hai so a couple of things you have to see how worn out your sole of the shoe is that will be your first indication and the second and very important thing that you will feel is you'll start feeling pain okay because that pain is an indication that something is not right that pain is preventive in nature you know pain was the sorry pain was devised by the body as a protective mechanism to protect yourself okay so immediately mm -hmm. the moment you start feeling that go change your footwear and see it also uh, depends on your um, usage okay if someone who is working for 12 hours a day they are on their feet their shoes will have a higher rate of wear and tear than rather than someone who gets up right. goes to the office in a car comes back your wear and tear will be much lesser so the duration is not fixed because that depends on individual usage <clears throat> that's very important so so if people like us who have uh, like desk jobs and all uh, unke liye uh, usage ka tarika different matlab usage different hoga obviously absolutely absolutely But, right yeah when you are, are, are someone like who's in the office right and you don't have a lot of work on your feet if you wear yeah. heels also and go it's fine but it also hmm. depends i'm talking for, for a person living with diabetes so okay it's super important to take care of your activity in place so it, which is very different for everybody so it like it's a tailor made therapy it is not like one size fits all for sure okay so uh you mentioned uh heel wale uh, shoes so this uh, has intrigued me into another question is that heels pair not possible hai because a lot of people uh suggest ki heels na pehna sahi hai because overall in general bhi uh, yeah. avoid jitna yeah. avoid kar sakte hai yeah so for diabetics yes. especially yeah yes it's better to avoid but uh, because see when you are on your feet the entire day your entire body's weight comes on that all right mm -hmm. 
also when your feet are arched we'll say you're wearing a heel okay oh. ye aapka heel hua itna to rehta hai ye 2 2.5 inch ka oh. that puts pressure on your lower back it changes oh. the curvature of your like your spine ka alignment ko change kar deta hai and you end up with pain okay. in your feet at the end of the day and, i mean i am someone who used to actually i'm telling you a personal story also uh so when sure. i started working in the clinic environment i used to think the indian traditional ke upar heels kitne acche lagenge you know even if they are just like 2 inch heels they used to look very nice and elegant eventually i started wearing sports shoes whenever i can otherwise <laughs> it's my class mm-hmm. those are the only two thing that my feet don't hurt like i mean our days begin at like I mean, if you have to go for a walk, then like six thirty, seven in the morning, then you are on your feet the entire day, running around from pillar to post. You don't want it to pain, you know. You don't want to come home and be like, oh my yeah. god, my feet hurt. You're like, okay, fine. Right. I'm fit. I'm, I'm healthy. So that's important. <laughs> But yes, go. Uh, I mean, if you have to go for flats, thanks to my friend, uh, she recommended them when we were working together at Hindu Jha. So after that, I okay. prefer wearing only that. because they really have some okay. of the also the shoe has to fit you so even in that right. brand uh, you have to sh- see whether it works for you for your arch because for some people i know it doesn't work for some people like if you have a higher arch it will work it so you have to take care of that arch hmm. okay uh, so basically uh, brands hai but you have to look for अपना कैसा चॉइस है अपने लिए क्या सही बैठता है ओके सो अब नए जूते जब हम खरीदते हैं तो वो ब्लिस्टर्स और वो सब होते हैं तो व्हाट आर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस फॉर ब्रेकिंग इन न्यू शूज फॉर डायबिटिक्स टू अवॉइड ब्लिस्टर्स एंड सच डिस्कंफर्ट सो लेदर शूज इफ दे आर देयर नो I think you can just like literally just move them, like twist them around, and you put like coconut oil in them. I've not done it because I don't wear leather shoes. I don't like leather shoes. So, but then sports shoes, if they are fitting well, and you wear a nice cotton hmm. socks and sports shoes, you're not going to get blisters. And okay, whenever you wear footwear, particularly women, when you wear typical wedding footwear, shadi wala festive season, if you know that they have that uh, thumb separator, if that is right. there. or they have something like a band over there on the foot huh. right so i i'm sure designs look amazing and they look very pretty and we want the whole festive look to uh, you know put together and everything mm. make sure that it doesn't hurt you walk in the store and see mm. if it hurts you even a little just go for another design or don't buy at all you will be fine in the okay. last year shoe also <laughs> <laughs> but it True. should not hurt your foot and take about 20 25 steps you'll know whether it's hurting you or not okay so um you mentioned some of the brands uh also uh, so to, to add to that are there any online other than that are there any online or in store resources and stores that specialize in diabetic friendly footwear and socks that you recommend so i am not very uh, so generally a podiatrist or a diabetic hmm. foot surgeon or a podiatrist the other okay. one who is okay. specialist and they generally have a team of uh, people who take your proper measurements and they design the foot as uh, the footwear as per your requirement because every diabetic you know in case you've gone uh, undergone an amputation your footwear is different if you are uh, <clears throat> having a neuropathy where you don't have to put pressure on certain points and you have an active infection going on we do a procedure called offloading offloading is basically where you don't have to put pressure on those points so the foot needs to be designed in that way the footwear so they design okay. a footwear specifically for that and uh, that's how it goes so they will design it okay for you. so acha so we have like specialists for that as well yeah, to deal yeah. with this aspect of time yeah, generally there is uh, the team of your uh, the diabetic foot surgeon has an, mm-hmm. an entire team with them they do it over there so you just have to connect okay. to a doctor who's a specialist in this field and they will get it arranged for you 
because they have a team they have people okay. coming in regularly so they have to be in association right. with the podiatrist and the people who make the feet uh, the footwear right so so uh, one of the members of our sugar smart community had a query sure. uh they said my mom has type 2 diabetes and she is on medication she has round nails that are very small she used a nail cutter and got herself injured she used uh the wound to uh, the, she used iodine wash to uh, you know, the wash the wound and gave it a hot touch i also used medicine but the wound is not yet recovered uh any solution any solution to make these na- nails normal and help the wound heal and also what different can she do from the next time on so uh, basically you just have to uh, make sure that when you're cutting your nails do it in bright light you know that age old mm. myth that raat ko nails nahi kaatte that was there because at night when there's no light you should not end up cutting your nails that is why it was started so no ghosts are going to come to your house nothing is going to happen it's just that so you don't get injured so people back then were you know, smart so <laughs> okay so then it's extremely important to firstly again like i said inspect your foot every day okay yeah. then moisturize it if everyone needs moisturization for the feet especially if you have diabetes moisturize your feet and cut Thanks. your nails you know It, it's very basic, but something that I always practice is keep a little bit of a nail there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, ha uh-huh. ha. We can see. Know, yes. Just hmm. leave a thin line. Don't cut it. Take them at the nail bag. You'll end up getting hurt. So just keeping a small, hey. small thin line, you will prevent any further injury. But if after putting iod tincture iodine and betadine lotion and everything, it's not getting better, you better go to a diabetic foot surgeon. Okay, it's super important because w- what happens is that if this festers and the infection mm. increases, forget soft tissue. If it enters the bone, it's a tough task, and this is exactly what we need to prevent. Right. So uh, once something like this happens and it persists, don't, don't go to anybody. Huh. Just go to your diabetic foot surgeon. Call your diabetic logist, and they'll know somebody in whichever area you live in, somewhere close to your house. Please go and get it done. Okay, so uh, let's see. That was all from my side. Let's see if we have some questions here uh, from the audience. Yeah. Okay, आज की बहुत तारीफ हो रही है डॉक्टर इशिता. डॉक्टर इशिता से दे विद एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ़ आर स्कूल इस डॉक्टर सत्ता सत्ता I think there is an unrelated. Okay, so are pedicures safe for people living with type one diabetes, or sh- uh, it should be avoided? I, I honestly, I'm a complete fan of it. If you are someone who is very careful, okay. Now there, there are two okay. aspects to this. Let me explain. So, I a couple of days ago, Dr. Rajiv Kovil, who is a very senior diabetologist, uh, who is also my senior, came out with. Uh, and he has been very specific when he says that uh, pedicures avoid karne chahiye but avoid kitne logo mein karne chahiye those who don't have very good sensation those who do get it done at not very well reputed places because of the hygiene issues agar ghar pe karna hai to ghar pe kar lo no problem but particularly if you have, have an existing foot injury until your foot is not completely healed you should not get a pedicure done but otherwise hmm. someone who has their blood sugar under control you go to a uh, decent place or you do it yourself please go ahead get a pedicure uh, get a nice foot massage relax yourself pamper yourself and like just look like the killer the babe that you are <laughs> um so one unrelated question i'm just taking it because please. there is no other question we, uh, today um just a second छोटा सा स्क्रीन में कभी कभी ना स्क्रॉल करना ही बहुत बड़ा सो कैन माइक्रो यस बी रिड्यूस्ड 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 
you have to control your blood pressure your protein intake should be adequate it should actually be good and uh, if you have an existing kidney damage that needs to be looked at and at what stage your kidney damage is that also needs to be looked at properly okay so i so hope blood pressure everyone has blood sugar uh, your dietary habits uh, also microalbuminuria urea can happen when you have intensive workouts post that also so we have to see why it's happening mm -hmm. and how do we treat it okay it's treatable it's very treatable okay so uh, that's all that we had and uh, itna hi questions tha aaj aaj humne sari baat cover kar li hum aajkal ye apne live sessions mein kar rahe hain hum sari baatein aur audience ko sab samajh mein aa raha hai sari ki unke paas koi queries nahi bach rahi so uh, uh, bolo ab bolo ab bolo bolo kuch bol rahi thi as so i said like so generally when a patient comes to the clinic no we actually first check their foot before any okay thing else we first check their foot because we need to see how good the blood flow is that also tells us whether you're going for a walk or not so whether you're fit or not also your feet will tell us before you can <laughs> so acha ye pata chal jata hai ha because the uh, the kind of blood flow that you have to your feet the texture of your feet the strength of your muscles they are all very easy to assess the moment we examine your feet okay and when the neuropathy happens and the blood flow is reduced that also can be uh, picked up from the foot examination which is why you should go to your doctor regularly for follow ups so uh, i think the take away uh, apart from all the answers that we like all the questions that we discussed yeah. the take away is as usual go to your go for your regular checkups don't yeah. miss those and take care of yourself buy shoes once kharab lagne lage pair mein dard hone lage don't wait for uh, wait much jo the khareed lo nahi right absolutely so also i'll uh, give another two cents uh, is that whenever you are at home also keep a separate footwear for home yeah when you go for a good walk it has to be sport shoes and socks then we hmm. discuss the daily wear and at home also keep a separate footwear because you should should not be barefoot okay so avoiding bare, being barefoot is important absolutely imperative oh, okay so i think that sums it up uh but again thank you dr ishita for being here today My with pleasure. us My and pleasure. thank you guys thank you everyone else uh audience for joining the session at thip media we are dedicated to delivering expert uh, health information for your well being and for well informed choices uh, stay clear of unreliable health advice on social media follow the health indian project on social media and whatsapp for trusted health updates remember when you know better you live better thank you so much dr ashita absolutely that's a wonderful tagline sir bye guys see you soon yeah.